Sue, number zero for Penn State. It's her fourth game as a part of the Lady Lions. She has made a huge impact on this team already. Great find to Casey Harder. The freshman cannot get the roll and the rebound to Brigham. Shea Chesky, three-pointer, good. We're gonna see a lot of three-pointers. This is one of the best three-point shooting teams in the country. Northwestern has gotta have more poise under pressure, a lot more than they had in the first time these two teams met. Jasmine Williams got the start today for Northwestern. Maggie Pino will answer the three. He likes to shoot a lot of threes, and she can shoot the ball, she can shoot threes, but I like her right now when she's trying to go inside out. Milani Kapanis, one of the many talented players for the Lady Lions, and the paint with an easy two. Missed the first 15 games, listed as out or questionable on injury report all year long. The first game, three games ago against Rutgers. And here's another turnover for Penn State. Up ahead they go, Shania Pintu, the finish. That's what you gotta do. If there's a double team, you know someone is open. So you, it's up to you. The ball finds energy, you gotta make that cut. And Mel Daly did. McKenna Marisa with her first points of the day. She is now eight away from 2,000 in her career. What she was just able to do defensively, move her feet, uh, tap the, the ball out to a teammate. She wasn't able to do move her feet like that last year. Owusu, another smooth two. Glad that she's back. Points to lead her team. Amy Walsh. She didn't start tonight, and but she came in hot. And Walsh gets the feed from McWilliams and scores. This is a sophomore who does such a great all-around game. But again, a rare disappointing first half for her. Then again, trying to break the press. It has led to opportunities for the Cats to run to the paint just like that from Casey Harder. And the Cats are trying to build on a 9-1 run. McWilliams loses her defender. This is a 5-on-4 as Kapanis is slow to get back. And Northwestern has the lead for the first time since the first quarter. Maybe not now, but maybe in the fourth quarter you'll wear Northwestern. Not misses a Wusu coming the other way and the Lady Lions are running. McKenna Marisa for two more. She's two away from the milestone. We have five players for Northwestern with three fouls or more. Oh, Ashley Owusu, that's what she has brought to Penn State. They balance each other very well. Meanwhile, that's the fourth foul. Casey Harder, so she is out to the bench. Same thing with Mel Daly. Walsh, shot clock does not reset. Lau on the drive. That's a great look for a zero on the shot clock about records or who's supposed to win or what, how they played in the last game. It's hard to win in this league. Haley Walsh cherry picking and it works for an easy two. We're tied again. Marisa in the paint. McKenna Marisa, 2,000 points in her incredible Penn State career. Nice little comeback here. They lost the lead. Marisa. They're doing a lot of things different. We talked with their head coach about how she does the first 20 minutes of their shoot around on game day, and she said it's something different than she's ever done before, but it's working. Haley Walsh working inside. She's got 17 points. They could have folded multiple times in this game. Instead, it's Pina from deep. It's a one point game. But I am, I'm a little worried about Penn State's momentum right now. McKenna Marisa tries to create momentum all by herself. Three on the shot clock for Harder. Lau's got a fire. Oh, Caroline Lau! What a shot! The awareness and the poise by the sophomore captain. Captain, the answer. Penn State up by two. Chesky, baseline, bounce pass, bring it. Beautiful basketball. Right in her hands for a bucket. Marisa left alone, cannot do that! A strong fourth quarter for the Lady Lions seals the victory for them. 76 to 65, Penn State wins. That is four straight victories for the Lady Lions.